Good morning, guys. We are heading to Long Island right now. Today, super excited. We're leaving New York, leaving Manhattan, and meeting up with Doug from Gymshark. You might know him, awesome gamer, awesome athlete, awesome all-around guy. We're gonna go train arms. We're gonna go put him through an H3P workout. This is gonna be the first time I've put in anyone in the fitness industry through it. And it's such a cool dude. We're gonna talk to him a little bit about what he's up to. You know, he's just got back into the Call of Duty scene competitively, so we're gonna talk to him a little bit about that. Um, who knows, maybe grab a bite to eat. It has been a long ride to get to Doug's. This was an over an hour Uber ride. Beats walking though, because it is freezing, freezing, freezing in New York, and you're not even wearing a coat. I'll be all right, it's got a hood. The high today was like literally, I think like 27, 28 degrees, or that's how warm it was when we got up. So that's why I'm all layered up. I got the new fleece. I got this new fleece top by Gymshark. I got my camo coat, got my movement watch. If you guys click the link in the description, it'll take you to movement. And you, like I said, use that Steve 15 code if you want to cop a movement watch before Christmas time. Ladies or guys, get one for your significant other. Join the movement, yo. Join the movement. All right, we're just about to Doug's house. We're gonna go check it out. He's been making some renovations. Um, and then we're gonna go get a workout in, put him through just a crazy, crazy arm session. All right, one of the construction workers let us in. Doug's not here. I'm gonna take you quickly. I'm gonna show you his backsplash because he hasn't shown you that. I noticed in his last video, they were just putting it up. So, this is pretty cool. It's the latest backsplash. It looks really nice. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to my casa. What's up, Steve? <laughs> dude, this place is sick, man. Yeah, Congratulations, sick. dude. I just showed everyone the backsplash because you hadn't showed it in your last video yet. Yeah, this is new. There's a Wait, lot of stuff. Did you get braces on? Yeah, I just got them off. Wow, today? today? Literally two hours ago. Yeah, look at my man. Looking good. Squeaky clean. Courtney's gonna be so jealous. Courtney just got braces on. Oh, did she? Like uh, a month ago. So. It takes a lot of balls to do that, especially when you get to be an adult. Like that's yeah. what I learned too. People oh, look at you differently. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I don't think you needed braces before, but my bottom teeth needed them more. Oh, I got you. And you I got the Christmas the colors. Yeah, Dude, I'm, a, I'm a dork like that. So. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Dude, this is cool. <laughs> yeah. So you, I mean, you've been doing work on this thing. A lot. You told us you're changing up the closet again. I'm literally changing everything, dude. But from your latest video, are you yeah. changing the closet again? Like from the one we, we, we took Gannett around? I'm getting custom closets in both the rooms. Nice. I'm changing the floors, I'm changing the roof, I'm changing yeah. the siding. It's crazy how close you are to the water too. Yeah, it's on the bay. I mean, not technically, it's on the canal. Have you seen the rest of the house yet? Uh -uh. No, no. You guys wanna see a house tour? Yeah, yeah, let's, 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 do, let's, let's do it. All right. You know what is crazy? So Doug, J Doug was just telling me about how, like it is, it's crazy how everything does happen. So I met, you said two and a half years ago? Probably three now. You went Close to, the, to three. Oh yeah, so it was in March, March of 2015. So you went to the Arnold, and he was just saying that like he, he like I was the only person that you followed or knew of me and the Hodge twins, you said. Yeah, I mean for fitness That's strictly, crazy. it was Steve, and then the Hodge twins were more of like comedy. comedy. Cause you know, everyone knows the Hodge, or I mean if, if you did back in the day, the Hodge twins were like the funniest dudes on YouTube, like the funniest twins, so. That yeah. makes me feel A, a little bit old, like an OG, which I'm cool with, and then also I feel, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty humbled by that because, you know, my man here is just absolutely killing it. So I think that uh, it's cool just to see how worlds worlds collide. It all worlds. comes full circle, man. I love it. Now we're about to go smash some arms. All right, guys, super excited. I'm going to be taking Doug through an H3P workout. So H3P, if you saw my, my arm video that we did last time, based on three different pr principles. So we have muscle damage, metabolic stress, and then we have mechanical tension. We're doing that third day, mechanical tension stuff today. What we're gonna be doing is using the heaviest amount of weight we can in that hypertrophy rep range. So we're gonna start off with a single, a single movement for triceps, do 12, 10, 12, 10, eight. Then we're gonna go into our basic movement for biceps, 12, 10, eight. Then we're gonna jump into some supersets, and then we're gonna knock out a finisher at the end. So have you ever done rolling tricep extensions? No. Love it. I've not. I get passionate about training arms. Growing up, we talked about this. You kind of get OCD about things when Probably. you're excited. Yeah. yeah. That's how I was with arms. Like growing up in high school, every night I trained arms in some fashion pretty much. So that's basically what this, this, this whole training program is based on, is how to grow your arms. Grow your arms is the key word there, the fastest, because it is a hypertrophy workout. So you got good arms on you already. I'm trying, man. Would you say, what's your best body part? In terms of strength? Yeah, well, shoulders. Strengths and I, mean, I guess like looks. the biggest thing is arms. Yeah. 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 I've always said like, man, Doug's looking, Doug's looking jacked there on the stick. So, um, yeah, this will be super exciting. Um, first thing we're gonna do, like I said, 
rolling tricep extension. So we're gonna warm up two sets on there. About two seconds down, and then you're gonna be here, and then roll it, and then press it up. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get super heavy on this. This is gonna be our, more of our mass builder. Okay. Nice little warm up. So here we go. Live yeah. or close. You can go eat. I do a couple sets of each. So maybe start out there. There you go. And then roll to your chest. Press it up. So on this, start out. Yep. Start out here. Come right to about your head, and then control it down. Good. And then to your chest, and then up. So the biggest thing is we're stressing the eccentric part of the movement right here, and then to your chest. And now it's a close grip, close grip bench up. So again. Too, this would be, we're gonna get really heavy to the point where it's gonna be too heavy to, to do the concentric portion of the movement. It's gonna get too heavy to do a tricep extension. So we're gonna be doing a close grip bench press. But since we're able to control the weight down, you're able to do more, more weight on that eccentric part. So it's just like, you know, it'd be just like doing a bench press where you're slow down and then someone helps you off of it. Slow on the eccentric and then roll it to your chest, close grip bench, press it up. Generally, you should do a the weight here will be more than what you'd be able to do. Like I have 10 reps here. I would not be able to do 10 reps of strict skull crushers here. Again, we're overloading the eccentric. But we wouldn't be able to press for 10 of them. So we come back here, close grip bench press because you're gonna be stronger in that movement than you are in that movement. There we go. Strong. Yep, come on. Get that good. Yep. Come on. No. Barely got time. This is the strongest game we're out there, man. That burns, bro. That's good. Good set. Yeah. One more set there. One more set. Whew. You know what I love about Doug? I think we're similar in that you like learning. Like you always are always about like trying to learn something new. Yeah. Like I, whenever I work out with anyone, like I'm always like, ah, even if it's not my style of workout, I'm always picking up something. Like when I, when I worked out with uh, David, well, David, but also with uh, the Mountain from Game of Thrones, we did like a strongman workout. I'm not a strongman. Like we were lifting Atlas stones and stuff. It was brutal. He's the second strongest guy in the world. Kicking my butt, but there's always something you can learn from every workout. I think all the time. There you go. Oh boy. There you go. That's what I like seeing. Come on now. Come on, get it there. Oh, ready? one more. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Good set. Good set. Guess what? We're now gonna take this, and we got curls. This is no joke, man. Typically, we'd be doing easy bar curls next with my arm blaster. But since I didn't pack that, we're just gonna use this side of the preacher curl. So if you come from the side here, you can see one side's at about a 60 degree angle, the other one's just vertical. So we're gonna be going, we're gonna be going on this side because up next, we're gonna be doing spider curl. And that's gonna be kind of more of this angle. So we're gonna go about the 60 degree angle here. Again, I would just do them with my easy bar, with my bicep blaster, but I wanna make sure we don't cheat on these. So I'm gonna be using this. All right, the tempo on this, but we've got about one second down. So today, we're not worried too much about tension. And the muscle damage part, so at the beginning of the week, we have mus muscle damage. That is where we actually have up to eight seconds of time under tension in this program. Today, like I said, mechanical, mechanical tension is our day-to-day. -day. So we're working out that hypertrophy rep range, going as heavy as we can, but within that hypertrophy rep range. So a lot of 12, a lot of 10s, a lot of eights, we're gonna have a sick, sick finisher though. Just a sick bro finisher. Let's go now. Come on, man, bicep. Good. Good boy. Good. 
you can see here. Yeah. Doug's got good insertions here on his biceps. Not a lot of space between that elbow and that bicep insertion there. That's just all genetics, but this movement, I find, really works that bottom third portion of this. It, you know, it's gonna obviously work the entire bicep. You have your biceps now. Thanks. I took creatine my first four months. Uh -huh. I took Optimal Nutrition, Gold Standard, C4, and creatine for four months, and I blew up. Did you? I got like huge. Creatine just yeah, creatine like blew me up. And then I didn't take it again, and it took me like a year to like keep the gains that I got in those yeah. four months. This is when you're first starting out? Yeah. Weighing 140. I like, how, I like how you said, had your mom call your name? Douglas. Douglas, what are you doing? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> mom, the meatloaf. We want it. <sighs> Arms hurt right now. Like the pump, the pump, like no, no touching, can't touch the shoulders. That's a good sign. You can't touch your shoulders. Oh, we're gonna get them there. I'm we're gonna get them there. I'm barely there. I got it. <laughs> Pump's so good, it makes me want to slap your mom. Not Doug's mom. She's nice. She would make us food for real. What? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I did this video one time with my buddy in phase because you were saying you want to do like a cod or an eating thing. Yeah. I do a lot of food videos and I did one in phase where every time if I didn't like a food, there would be a consequence. Like whether gallon of milk dumped on your head or whatever. They decided they'd punch me in the face. Oh I didn't like a gosh. hot dog. So I had my mom come because she had to like prove on camera that I've always been a picky eater and never ate hot dogs. So she's like, yes, Douglas never ate hot dogs. And like, all right, well, Banks said this. She's like, all right, well, we're going to punch your son in the face if uh, he doesn't eat the hot dog. She's like, what? You got a boxing glove? Slam me. I went like that. She was in the other room. She didn't want to see it. She's like, how are these your friends? Why do they punch you in the face? I'm like, Ma, you don't understand. It's for YouTube. It's like content. We need to do it. Ready? Let's do it. Last set. Good, good. Good, it's all good. Good. Hold up. First two movements down. All right, up next we have our dumbbell tricep extension here. Our seated. Uh, always, always, always. We hit a exercise that will hit or target our long head of our tricep. We're gonna superset that with. So immediately after I'm done here, going over to spider curls with the dumbbell. Really concentrate concentrating on supinating and squeezing at the top. So this is a little bit higher reps. We have 12 to 14. Fail somewhere between 12 and 14, but I want you guys to fail on these. We got three sets each. Good, good. All right, I'm going straight over here. These, you might be surprised on how light you go on these. So we're gonna be just stretched out here, staying supinated the entire time. And at the top, just forcing those pinkies out. Let's go now. Get a good stretch, good stretch here. There we go. Good. There we go. Good. Close. There we go. Come on. Where are you? One more. Get one more. Get one more for me. One more. Oh, we go heavier next time. Oh, okay. So sometimes on our big and lean program, we get a lot of people, because this is a lot of volume. So people start saying, hey, feeling tendonitis in my elbow, in my forearm. That's why in our program, this H3P program, our recovery days, we have deload weeks as well as mobility exercises. So we'll include some smashing, some foam rolling, as well as just exercises, stretches we do. Because that's big. A lot of people throw them to an intense arm program, tendonitis is gonna be an issue. You know the deal? Perfect, good. Good, squeeze that top, good. Good. Can you do it? What's that? Douglas. Douglas, you your gotta arms. Do it. I can't do it. He's got it, with more practice, he's got it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay here in New York for longer. Douglas. <laughs> Eat some pizza. Ma, not now, I'm growing my arms. No, Douglas, your arms are big enough. <laughs> no, I still can't. You when can't, you're... no, no, she'll say, you can't have too much protein, it's no good for you. <laughs> I got sick, I had a stomach virus when I flew to Dallas on Thursday. I was like, mom, I threw up twice in the car going to the plane, seven times on the plane. She's like, did you have too much protein? I'm like, mom, no, that's not why I threw up. I probably ate something bad. <laughs> it sounds like my, so my grandma, she's like, you know, always worrying about you, me eating enough. And oh, you're, you're being too strict on your diet. Like, you're knowing, you know, my, my dad when he was dieting, she'd get all over. I'm like, what's the point of living if you can't have pie? Like she was all, always about like balance. Sounds like a sweetheart. 
All right, so this one. Doug said he liked doing biceps and tricep exercises that involve the rope, right? Yeah. So, we're gonna be finishing off. First one, rope, bicep curls. Okay. We're gonna go 10, then you do 10. Nine, nine, all the way down to five, and then back up to 10. So start off, we're gonna pick a weight that we can do fairly easy, like we could do 20 times, so like we fail at 20. We're only gonna do it 10, but pick that weight and that'll be your working weight throughout the entire thing. So we're gonna go down and then back up. It's pretty gnarly. By the end of it, let's do it. Arms are gonna fall off completely and then we have a uh, same for triceps on rope extension. Sit 10, now I got nine. Still got now, we got triceps, same thing. Tricep extensions, 10, down to five, back up to 10. People always wanna talk about how to get big arms, you have to have big biceps. When in actuality, we've talked about this before, triceps give your arms actually the size. And you got good triceps too. They, they start nice and low. You see that insertion there? Right next to his elbow. You see some people that like triceps insert right there. Again, genetics play a big part into arm development. Like you go to Arnold, Arnold had a great bicep peak. That's not to say though that you can't make your weaknesses better. It might never be potentially as great to grow that big, you know, I'll never have that big crazy peak that Arnold had, but I have really long insertions, just like you. Let's go beast mode. I used all my energy on that one rep. Shake it out, where you at here? Eight, come on now, get two more, two more, come on. Let's go, get it, last one. Yes! Ah, 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 That's impressive ah, right there, man. Let's see that. Bro, hit that, hit that bicep. Again. Yeah. Oh, that tricep hanging down. That's tough, man. That's a real deal tricep right there. This is the real deal right yeah. now. I'm really impressed with you. Like, seriously, you're working at, I think, in the gym and stuff, man. I can see, like, the guy, you might know him for his gaming. Even if, like, that's where I first heard of Doug, is, like, how amazing of a gamer he is. Dude can move some weight and has serious, serious physique, so. I'm Appreciate impressed. it, man. I'm Thank really you. impressed. Looking good. Thank you. Making that gym shark look good. I'm ready to go put on that top. This is nice because it hits that arms. Hits that arm, I think, like right in the good spot there. I know. The material is sick. I'm done, though. I might go do some foam rolling, some stretching. That's all included in the program. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That workout was sick. And you guys know where you guys can find Doug? Face Sensor on YouTube. Just yep. face that sensor. That's it. Pretty simple. He's promising he's gonna do some more uh, like everyday videos again after he gets in, into his house, right? Yeah. House is sick. Like you got a lot of good things going on in your life right now. A lot of renovations too. Cool. So though. once it's finished, it's all gonna look sick. It, play, I'm gonna come back out when it's warmer. We can jet ski. Yes. That'll be fun. Yes, that'll be good. That'll all be right. Sick. This video, we're gonna do it again. Hopefully, where are you gonna be at this year? Coming up, like you have your, the tournament in Louisiana. I'll be at the expo in January. Okay, so you'll be at the LA Fitness Expo or the pop-up shop. It's a pop-up shop. The pop-up shop yeah. that we're doing in Gymshark. We'll both be there. We'll have to get another workout in there. Yes. Maybe a leg? Anything, definitely. Legs. I need legs, I need legs. All right, like this video if you guys want to, and comment below if you guys want us to see a, a leg video. Also, check out Doug's stuff. He's gonna be putting up the, a, a video of us as well. Go show some love. Appreciate it, guys. Later, guys. Joe's Pizza and Seafood. These are the best types of joints. Where like, it's simple, they do pizza well. The last time I ate as much pizza as I could was in high school. I haven't done that in a while. I don't know if we're, I'm up for that right You're now. You're not gonna be disappointed, trust me. I can't wait. So my favorite pizza in New York is also called Joe's Pizza. I doubt it's the same, but all I know is you can't go wrong 
with somebody who makes pizza named Joe. I'll tell you what, this place looks amazing. This is the pepperoni right here. I've literally had pizza every night for the last three nights. Because in the West Coast, we don't get to sell pizza. That margarita, pizza that margarita looks good. I'm going to go pepperoni and then chicken parmesan. Is this taco pizza? All right, what would you go with here? I have buffalo chicken, regular, and chicken parmesan. Uh, you, three slices. I'm gonna try the buffalo. Yeah, wait, this is chicken parmesan. That's and this chicken is buffalo parmesan. chicken. Now, what'd you get? This is chicken bacon ranch and the um, margarita. We just don't have pizza like this in the West, man. How is it? Full group. This is your jam. Mm, when you're stressed out, you come here. Last night.